subs up and learning new characters and always new ways to figure out aspects of the game, which is always good to see. Mm. All right, what, what's the music? Phonon? Phonon. Phonon's not bad. Mm. I would put that at like a solid okay. But round start, I think Nanase probably has a better round start. So I'm I'm suspecting you'll see a jump back, maybe a from defensive Rurik. play from Rurik. Yeah, there All right, you go. Alright. Open him up. Okay, gonna keep him mid screen. That's a good weight on the shield there. Ooh. Pokes him out of the overhead. <laughs> With all the DP punish. It's actually crazy that it, uh, it didn't go underneath the overhead there. Mm. But I guess 2A is a mid from Yuzu. Ooh, Vio. Good TRM. I think I saw a red flash there. For those of you who don't know, TRM is... <laughs> Uh, throw reject miss. It's just if you press AD, you're locked out of a window. Before I'm pressing AD again to tech the throw. Yeah, and the red flash tells me if that happens or if they just didn't tech. Yeah. <laughs> I like Ringo's energy there. I always love Ringo's energy. It's actually <laughs> really fun to watch his non say to be honest. Not say it's a fun character. I'm a. All right, so Rorik right. secured Vorpal there. Like Fox, yes, can get anything from it. Yeah, so he did have it, but Rorik didn't really have many defensive options unless he wanted to like veil off in there. So he kind of just had to block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That should be the game, or, yeah, the game. Oh, I whiffed! Alright. All punished, almost got it, yeah. Yeah, and just very long anti-air. Um, you, I, yeah, no, you can't uh, air shield that at all, so. Against grounded Yuzu, you want to be very careful. Yeah, I think Ringo just messed up in the side switch there. Ramp star, jump back. Ah, oh, it worked, but didn't combo. Ringo's just building grid. Ooh, oh, just goes, goes in. in with a sword card. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder what he caught there. I'm guessing it was a jump back, but I'm not sure. Probably. Oh! Hard thrust plus three. Damn, punishing the guard thrust. Yeah, deeping in that range is probably not the best option. Ooh, wake up shield. Ooh, very, very risky. Especially when the, you didn't really have much to gain there, because the grid cycle was pretty far off still. There. Rook's got... Ooh, gets fucked up. Kotla. No, Oracle. I was talking um, Nanase. Nanase's uh, EX214 is plus 3. 214C, yeah. That one's plus 3. That's one where she pops in the air, right? Yeah, yeah, with like the big tornado. Mm. Alright, man. Start when he just runs up. 2Cs, I think. Or maybe 3Cs. I don't play it honestly. Yeah, so that cross through is kind of hard, but it is punishable. I'm not sure maybe by Yuzu though. Yeah. Because Yuzu doesn't really have good fast options close up. All right, gets caught by the overhead. Yeah. 
<laughs> Just gets him from all the way over there. Yeah, punish the whiff slash. And Zorkar is usually a pretty good starter for Nanase as well. Yeah. So it's always nice when you hit it. Yeah. I feel like Rurik has picked up in Ringo's hesitation and has been the one kind of dashing towards him, trying to catch him. Well, it's just... I think um, Ringo is having a really hard time approaching here. Mm -hmm. Is maybe not quite so comfortable with sitting against Yuzu and shielding or like dash blocking in. Yeah. Yeah, mashing on wake up. Gets caught by two A. Has him in the corner. All right, Rurik with the Vorpal cycle. Okay, respecting it. Ooh, ooh, good mash. A lot of overhead. <laughs> overhead. <laughs> <laughs> that that's the thing with uh, Nanase is if she can actually grid break the opponent. It is messed up because she can just do as many overheads as possible. But if they're not grid broken, they see all these overheads and they're like, I'm just going to press D and one of it will hit. <laughs> uh, what's this out of again? It's uh... Sorry, what was the question? Seven, oh. First to seven. Thank you. Yeah, so quite, quite a long time to adapt. Mm-hmm. What's your guess for the second, do you think? For these... sorry, what? Uh... What do you think the score will be at the end of the set? Oh, the score? Yeah. I'm going to... S I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Rango, but I'm... I don't have too much faith. I'm gonna say... 6-1. I think Rango could get... Oh, wait, 7-1, se seven, sorry, 7-1. Seven, then you can't seven, win one? first to 7 by winning I, 6 games. I know, <laughs> I know, I know, okay. <laughs> the last one's a DQ. Ooh. Alright, throw attack. Did Ringo have any options out of that CS? I feel like... Uh, it's kind of hard to say. Mm. I mean, DP is always an option, but like, it's so... Uh... Ring... Or, not to say his DP doesn't have much horizontal range at all. Mm hmm Yeah, Ringo Has a bigger brain than I do. Whiff grab, Rick disrespecting it all. Ooh! That was really nice. Yeah. There was like an- he did a force function to air stall there for just a second. Mm hmm Yeah. Ringo's round. Right. Pretty convincingly, too. Alright. Ooh! Sword car catches a button. Yeah, I think Rurik tried to get a, uh, a Tau in, but I don't think he was in stance, so it took too long. Hmm. Alright. It's got him in the corner, but it's still relatively even this round. It's got CS. Ooh, Ringo! Might win the grid cycle here. It looks like he will. Ooh! Ooh, and okay. he also spaces out. Pour one out for Yuzu's uh, reversal being terrible. Yo, that, that grab got me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Ringo just kind of has to sit here and punish the risks uh, Rurik has to take here. Because when you're in a life lead against Yuzu, that's always the best position to be in. Mm -hmm. Because it's really hard for Rurik to open him up here. Yeah, I like how safe Ringo's playing there. Oh, except for there. And that'll be a game to Ringo, his first one so far. Yeah. Saw how far Rurik uh, had to dash in. Just...
Will Aurora take five more games? Yeah, just jump back. Interestingly enough, I, I'm not really seeing Ringo chase the fireballs. Why do you think that is? Just because he's afraid of getting hit by Patau? Yeah, I think he might just be playing it safe. Like, just because uh, maybe he feels like Ringo isn't getting that much out of him. Maybe. I just feel like you want to take any opportunity you can to get in closer. Yeah. I think Ringo's or Brooks just trying to be patient because Ringo isn't really running in following the fireballs, I feel like. Just kind of waits to see what Rurik does. Ooh. That's a big hit. The sword it's cards are really working out. Oh, punish that one. Alright. Run up throw, got, it's got Roar or got Ringo in the corner. And he gets out with a sword car. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That was a good bait. That was beautiful. But I, I will say, I don't really like doing reversals in spots where things are covered by fireballs. Because yeah. you have a safe meaty, and the opponent gets plus frames no matter, even if he's blocking, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to be very careful to reversal in those situations. Yeah. Rurik might get horrible here. Oh! Ringo just barely takes it back. Alright, fireball. Carries him to the left corner. This is a really, really strong position for Ringo to be in. Yeah, and that was like three overheads. Yeah, and it was actually a really good weight. I think he could have fit one more in, but he saw the green shield and waited. And that's... Mm -hmm. So far it's 2-2, two -two, so Ringo already proved me wrong. Yeah. Evened it up pretty quickly. Okay, they both just run past each other. Just waited to 2A ring on, wake up. Ooh. Oh, man, TK Batao there is so messed up. <laughs> it's so good. It hits any time like you're poking it with a low, it's going to beat it. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing I had to learn to do against Yuzu, and it made me very sad. Oh. Was that like I had to learn how to poke out with high hitting normals, specifically against Yuzu. Oh, sword car gets in there. Rinko's actually getting these sword cards on Ooh. point. DP on opponent CS. Not the best place for a sword car, I feel. Oruk is still pretty up in the air. Yeah, so far I th like Ringo's taking this quite convincingly with these sword cars. I think that's the biggest change Rorik needs to make, is figure out the spacing that Ringo is doing them at. Yeah. Ringo's been placing them really well. He's caught Rorik a lot with it. Ooh. 
trying to keep Rook in the corner. Ooh! Oh, that is what these if I've ever seen it. Space. <laughs> the That's glaring okay. weakness of 4B. <laughs> Hell yeah, kill with the XDP. Man after my own heart. And that will be Ringo with the lead. Ring God. Oh, run up 3C. Didn't quite catch. Do you think running further under would have uh, worked there? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, anti airs in that spot are always kind of a little iffy. Mm. Personally, I would have kind of just locked it and waited. Yeah. It was definitely close enough that he could have uh, tried to play too. Uh, but either way, Ringo's got him in the corner. DP's his escape. Throws good, way, good throw. Yeah. Man, Ringo is scary in the corner. He uses the fireball to air stall, get another overhead. Did, did I just see 2A poke out of Assault? <laughs> Man. Submit, don't worry about it. <laughs> and people say there's no benefits to mid 2As. <laughs> you know, maybe Komodo is right about Lene 2A. Uh, I think uh, we'll get fake Steve yelling at you in the chat if he's watching at all. <laughs> the moment he hears that statement. Alright, good back dash. I mean, it's, and it's also pretty far from the cycle, so backdashing isn't cautioning too much. Yeah. Good punish on the VO. Yeah, that VO's gonna... Oh, <gasps> oh my god! gonna win in the Vorpal cycle, too. Tax the throw, too. Yeah, and R Ringo just held right. Held six. Man's getting called out. Yeah. Rook's taking a minute to think, to breathe. Oh, return to character? Is it oh. a switch of colors, or is it a new character? Maybe just one more time. Just more time, it looks like. Will Ringo switch color? It's a pretty solid color. That's a pretty good color. Oh no, they switched the song. <laughs> Wake up, yep. Same thing. Rorik jumps back, Ringo jumps forward. Ooh. Oh, this is fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 3.6 with non assay damage is no joke. Ooh, assault over the throw attempt. Yeah, Rurik just walked back, jumped back, waited for the sword car to pass under. Alright, teleport. Yeah. yeah. Ringo's something... not pressing buttons. That's something I know Rurik really likes to do when he gets the corner is he likes to do uh, Lotus into a teleport, which spaces him out pretty nicely, and you have to be really committal if you want to punish it. Mm hmm Yeah. I feel like it's a good way to bait out responses, too. Ooh. Two overheads, second one gets it. <laughs> yeah, 2C counter hit. Doesn't really get a full combo off of it, though. Oh, EXDP. I love the sword card to position himself into DP. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, I caught! Oh, I caught the teleport! I had no idea what just happened there. Yeah, uh, Rook will full screen, and then he was, uh, in the corner getting hit. 
the fireball caught like the the four or five. I, I don't remember exactly how many, but the, <laughs> the frames fireball. Where, where Yuzu's like pretty much completely horizontal as she's teleporting. Uh -huh. Yep, there's the teleport. Ooh, runs up throws. Alright, it's gonna just stand still. We're gonna Sword try game space. Sword is gonna put Rurik in the corner now. Yeah, I think when Rurik's like spaced like too far out and like jumps in the air, like good Rango chance. sees that as a good chance to just sword car. Oh, that's a pretty big round. Four, four and two isn't a crap ton of pressure, but like when you start to see like the five and two, three games up, that's going to be putting pressure on Rurik to start making comeback now. Yeah. You could see like the one or two adaptations that Rurik had in neutral and changing his Bato timing to deal with the sword car. But outside of that, like, all of his other habits have been, like, super well called out by Ringo when he gets his offense going. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Oh. That was good. Um, you can see, uh, Rorik there actually did a micro dash forward to 2C to, uh, interrupt the spacing before Ringo got there. Mm -hmm. Got him in the corner, so the fireball, mashes, follows the jump. He's just trying to keep him pinned. Whoa. Vio works out. <laughs> Yuzu parry. Parry? Why? Alright, he's gonna use meter. Yeah. It's not gonna kill. But... No, but it's gonna put him in throw in throw kill range. Oh, a little too late. A little too late. A little... Yeah. I respect it, though. Very raw. Yeah, that was a little far to sword car. Oh. Doing good. Yeah. Ringo did a really good job of working his way in there. Alright, just a casual 3.5. Okay, doesn't jump. Ooh! Yeah, just punishing the fireballs. Ooh. Just run up anti-air. Can't jump against this guy. Yeah, that jump forward was a little dangerous. Base the stand shield, tries to go for it again. Oh, two teleports? Alright, All right, and Rurik making a game back. Much needed game. Yeah. You can see in all the scramble situations, Rurik's like, base defensive option before was always shield, and now he's going to 2A and up back instead. Which Ringo did catch with one of the fireballs, but we'll have to see if he can pick up on that. Yeah, he's not getting grabbed nearly as much as he was last time. The uh, backwards jumping movement there actually cost him the cycle. I think I would have liked to see Rorik just stand his ground. Yeah, oh, jumping back, yeah. I feel like he's getting a little predictable now, so there's a lot of jumps. That was a good shield. Ooh. Yeah, good shield. Yeah. Rurik should be gaining the cycle here. Yep. Oh, God. Uh, tries to air stall in time, but doesn't have enough height. And that's one thing that Ringo's been exposing really well, is the weaknesses <gasps> of concentrating against Swordtar. Because you can't cancel concentrate immediately in the block. There's a slight delay, and then you have to go into shield. Yeah, it's fun to yes. concentrate a lot at this set, even from like the very beginning. 
Although, I I will say, I don't think there's too much risk in going into shield against Sword Car, because it is a mid, and it's not like you can go overhead immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think even if it, like, whiffs, you're still... There's still enough delay. Oh, Theo. Oh, that's a big hit. Yeah, that puts him in throw kill range. But that slight little microdash though. Ooh. It's it's enough to get him in the corner. Oh, two A misses. <laughs> Neither of them were expecting it. <laughs> Ringo had like a low shield going. Yeah, Ringo's the one who has to make something happen here. Oh, EX oh, Fireball is gonna do it! Alright, that's Reaching six a three. a little deeper into the bag of tricks when he needs it. Game Damn. set point here for Ringo now. One Fireball wasn't enough, so he sent out three. Or however many are in that move. Alright, wake up neutral shot. That's right. Did Rory just dash back, dash forward, and then Pato? Yeah, it feels like Rory's the more... the one on the offensive now. Yeah, just, uh, Ringo's... Ringo's trying to get out of the corner by pressing, and is, he's just getting caught for it. Yeah. Oryx adjusted his strength slightly so he stays a little bit closer. Because before he was backing off quite oh. leaving him at a range where Nanase wants a sword card. Mm -hmm. Right, I think, uh, yeah, I agree with that. And I think Rorik's optimal spacing is probably like right outside a 2C range. Or a uh, 5C. Yeah. That sword card CS. I was trying to keep some spacing. Yeah. Yes, teleport to side swap. <laughs> Missed the micro dash though. Uh. Yep. Slashes through it. Jumps over fireball dash. or sword card. That's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that stat yeah. would have put him on set point too, and he just missed the micro dash confirm. You hate it's very shit. close. <laughs> I would say at the end there, I would have liked to see Ringo um, be a little more patient. Yeah. And wait yeah. a little bit more. That run start though, Ringo just or Rook just pressed the button. Ooh, standing on wake up there. Yeah, I feel like Ringo or Rurik feels very comfortable now, just pressing buttons. See, this is what this is what Ringo needs to be doing right now. Ooh. Block until he sees the opening. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely has, like, almost full, full grid. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate, uh, just gets poked out trying to run up throw, I think. Oh, he uses the sword car to get himself to safety. Ooh, Pick good spacing. Up. Yeah. Pokes out. Yeah, and Rurik just waited for the follow-up. Damn, just like that. Two quick ones. Five, six. Yeah, Rurik's catching up. 
looking One like thing... we have an exclamation point banger on our hands. There we go. One thing Rurik is really good at is catching forward text to be in a spot where it's like ambiguous which side you're going to land on. And I, that caught Ringo a couple times last game. Yeah, so I'd like definitely. to see him delay tech this game. Mm -hmm. And I think with that, that would be a good adaptation. Yeah. Or at least block. Okay, dash forward throw. Keeping working the corner for the four B and here. Doesn't really get a huge conversion off of it though. Yeah, oh it hits low. Good spacing on Rurik. Mm -hmm. Ah, runs into that's gonna be the round. You can see the moments where Rurik kind of loses his discipline for a second, and that's when the sword card catches. Yeah, that definitely caught him when he was dashing in. Oh, that was good on Rurik. I just knew Ringo would come in again, just threw out a slash. Oh, DP though. Yeah, <laughs> in the <snipers>. gap. <laughs> Full screen sword card. Oh, made it safe. One scout yeah, off it too. All Rurik has to do here is kind of like take his space yeah. and Oof. wait for Aurora. Backwards to... elbow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Ringo threw away his advantage there with that sword card. Right. Doesn't quite kill. Oh, that elbow. It didn't hit or anything, I just thought it was cool. Ooh. Yeah, 3C a little bit late. Mm -hmm. Just barely caught Ringo. Oh. Ryan starts over car. Ringo just sticking to his guns. He says, this is this is the game plan that I'm going to do. And it's not a terrible game plan, because if he makes it work, all he needs is one round. The thing is, the way Ringo plays really puts the onus on you as the opponent. Uh, to kill him for taking some of these riskier and more aggressive options. Because if you don't, he will sword car and he will kill you for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, short attack. Ah, uh, 2A. Yeah, 5B just a little too slow. And final, just like that, final game. Damn. Game 13. 13. Hey, we're gonna be here all day. As the great band Cake once said, they're going the distance. <laughs> oh, alright, Whiff. And currently, I think all the momentum's on Rorik's side, so I think it's yeah. on Ringo to adapt here. Yeah. Definitely feels like he did there. That round start was played very well. That being said, though, Rorik's going for 4B instead of Shield, now that he's realizing that Ringo's starting to play around his Shield on offense. Ooh, okay. Sees the whiff, uh, sees his chance to throw out a button. And it catches. Ooh! The space anyway. What did Rurik try to do? Is that a 2A? Yep. Yeah. The oh, and again! again. <laughs> I guess it was ambiguous because, like, Ringo just landed. He was slightly closer than the time that his, uh, his 2A whiff before as well. Mmm. Damn, that was beautiful. Yeah, Rick's running up now and catches low. Okay, jumps back. Yeah, just hang out, win the cycle. This is where you want to be against Yuzu. Ooh, Ooh. catches it, uh, Rurik trying to anti r too late. Yeah. Punishes 4B though, 4B, not close enough. Cycle's gonna go to Rorik. He's got the options to reversal. Yeah, respected the CS. Didn't get hit, blown up for it. Yeah, oh. waits to visually see the pass through and then 2C. 
Yeah, in the corner too, you, that's like... If you start preemptively doing it, that's when Nanase will start going for the stab instead, and that's when you die. Ooh. Got him at the very last slash. Alright, teleports to get out of the corner. Yeah, Rorik did not want to count the overheads. Just hit him after the first one. One more time, Ooh. yeah, just the jump back spacing, but the sword car! Ah, no meter, so he should still be alive here, but Ringo does have the cycle. Damn. Oh, the teleport oh, no. catches him walking back. That's the final final round. Right. Six C's coming out. Rorik's pulling out new, new tools, too. New tricks. Well, it's in these high ten situations that teleport six C's will win you the game. Yeah. Oh, high counter. And we're a cast CS. All right. Good defense. You have to risk a shield, otherwise you lose the cycle again. No, still gets it actually. Oh, but... the counter hit didn't quite do it. Uh. Okay, Rurik has meter, but I don't think he can kill yet. Just let's go with his overhead. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, and the four B is gonna take it. No glaring weaknesses today, boys. <laughs> Damn. Thirteen Our first games set of the day. Set. All thirteen games. This whole this whole group here is actually a banger.